everybody, it's George with PDQ.com, and we're here to talk about the recent OpenSSL 3.0 vulnerability. Uh, this one that came out initially was listed as critical. There's been some mitigating factors and some reasons where it's now only listed as high instead of critical, which is, I guess, kind of your best case scenario if you are going to have an exploit is to have it be downgraded without you doing anything. But overall, it's still there, and it's something that's supposed to be with SSL, it's supposed to be super secure. So if there is vulnerability, we definitely want to get that patched and, uh, and closed out. So this exploit uh, impacts OpenSSL 3.0.0 through 3.0.6. Uh, there is a update for the product that came out, I believe, November 1st for 3.0.7, which actually closes this vulnerability. So if you've kept that up to date already, don't worry, you're safe. If you're not sure, if you have OpenSSL out there, you don't know if it's updated or not, you want to check it out, uh, we're here to help you out. And we're going to help you out with uh, PowerShell. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to pull up ISE because I haven't installed VS Code on this lab machine yet. And uh, that's it. No, no good excuse for that. But this is the PowerShell that's going to help you track down if OpenSSL is installed and what version it currently has. So we're coming down to, if we just kind of break it down, the first one is just the path of where the uh, yeah, executable is. And then you're going to test to see if it does exist. And if so, it's going to pull down the version, the file path, the release date, and the status and return all of that as an output. So you could run this on your machine right here. It's going to give you that data. Or if you're looking to run it remotely against a bunch of machines, for that, we're going to use PDQ inventory. So I'm going to copy the script here eventually. Go to inventory, a new scanner PowerShell. And that's pretty much it. I guess we should probably give it a name. Open SSL, and instead of a file, I'm just going to paste in the script because I like to do things inefficiently. And that's it. That builds the scanner right there. We can go and scan your entire environment. It's going to return all of the data you're looking for in a, in a table you can see within the computer. If you're looking for that PowerShell and you want a quick uh, or more detailed breakdown on how you can set it up or build reports off of that, uh, pdq.com on our blog site, there is an article out there written by Brock that's fantastic and it will give you step-by-step -step everything you need to make sure uh, your scanner's working the way it should. And that's everything you need to know. Uh, hopefully you're all patched up and secured with your openness to self. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan. <laughs>